I am Professor Om Kumar Harsh from Australia is sending an another video on heat and thermodynamics. My dear students, and this is a very important video regarding concepts based on very basic fundamentals that what is heat and what is thermal energy. Actually thermal energy is also known as heat energy is produced when a rise in temperature produces atoms and molecules to go more rapidly and have a collision with each other. The energy that comes from the temperature of the heated substance is called thermal energy. Heat is generated by mechanical elect and electrical machines. So every time one rubs against another when warmer things are shared with cooler ones hot things lose heat and cool things achieve until they are all at the similar temperature. A hotter object can warm a colder one through make and contact or from the gap. Actually heat energy is the outcome of movement of little particles known as atoms, molecules or ions in solids, liquids and gases. Heat energy can be transmitted from one object to another. The transmission or flow owing to the variation in temperature between the two objects is known as heat. Therefore, we can say that heat is the kind of energy that can be transported from one body to the another or even produced at the cost of failure of other types of energy. To check temperature is a gauge of capability of a material to transmit heat energy to a further physical system. There are three methods through which we can generate heat. One is called solar radiation, second is through rubbing and third is called through burning. Actually the body, our human body spends two thirds of its heat because of radiation. Conduction is the first example as the heat damage from sleeping on cold, cool floor it is wasted in air temperature. Body spends about 2 percent of its all heat out of air conduction. Now what is the brief answer of heat? What is heat? Heat is the transport of kinetic energy from one medium to another or from an energy supplier to a medium. Such energy transmission can arise in three circumstances. Number one radiation, number to conduction and number 3 convention. Therefore, we can say that heat is conveyed by three distinct techniques. One is conduction, second convention and third is radiation. Therefore, if some children ask what is the answer, what is the heat about? We say that heat is the transport of energy from one body to another owing to a variation in temperature. Now the best instance of heat energy in within our solar structure is the sun. The sun radiates, radiates heat to heat up on earth. Once the burner of a stove, of, a stove or top is very warm, it is a resource of the heat energy. Therefore, we can say that the heat is a kind of energy. It cannot be claimed as a force. Any shift in momentum is owing to the heat and heat being attracted by the gas which improves its kinetic energy and consequently the gas temperature. Now how, what how we what sorry what can be defined the exothermic heat? Reactions like exothermic happens once the temperature of a structure improves owing to the development of heat. For example, a system that distributes heat to the atmosphere. This exothermic reaction have a minus change of the heat due to convention. Because normally we say the enthalpy of the commodity is reduced than the enthalpy of the reactance of the given system. We will detail this next in the, um, in the next lecture. Now, Overall, we can say that, that there are three normal types of the heat. 
heat can be moved by three method or heat can be moved by three methods by conduction by convention and by radiation now conduction may be defined as transmission of energy from a molecules to a further by immediate link convention may be defined as passage of heat by way of a fluid for example water and air radiation may be termed as transmission of heat by the way of waves of electromagnetic in nature now what are the primary resources of the heat normally we say the primary resources of heat is solar energy the sun is earth's key outer supply of heat geothermal energy geothermal energy appears from inside the earth biomass fossil fuels and so on yeah, another very important question what is the difference between heat and temperature heat may be regarded as a type of energy it may be computed in the units of joules it correlates to the kinetic energy which triggers the particle in an entity or substance to vibrate while temperature is the mean kinetic energy of the particles in a material or substance now another question how we, we can differentiate about heat a force or energy yes we need to reply like this way thermal energy indicates the energy covered inside a system that is accountable for this temperature heat is the moment of thermal energy therefore what is exactly the definition which is fitting in the physics in physics we say heat is the kind of energy that is transported among two materials of distinct temperature this transmission of energy arises for the region that of variations in the mean translational kinetic energy each molecule between two substance somebody ask you is there negative heat if there exists a negative heat then what does it imply the answer is negative heat means the quantity of heat is out means the reaction is exothermic now another very important question what is the difference between heat and the work in behavior heat and work are two distinct aspects of transporting energy from one kind of system to the another system heat is regarded as a transfer of thermal energy among systems but work is the transmission of technical energy among two systems dear student next lecture we will elaborate more important aspects of heat and temperature and some of the most import, important parts which would be used later on for numerical calculation thank you thank you for, for your kindness